Nice. <sighs> What's good, think this is of all ages, Seth Hogg here, and today we're gonna continue our Final Cut Pro adventures, and let's start this off by opening Final Cut. And we left off last time learning how to transfer our. I'm gonna call this stock footage. Oh, what did I do to this? Why that looks so dark? We're gonna call our, transferring our stock footage into our timeline. Oh, why does this look so dark? Oh, it was the host migration. All right, so now we're gonna take a segment and we're gonna start learning things to do to it. We'll get let's just say a two-minute segment. All right, now. We have a two minute segment. What's that? Today we're just going to be learning these tools and uh, some other miscellaneous things around the screen. Alright. First of all, if you want to edit the volume of the clip, you come down to here. And as you can see, there's a little dot or line or whatever. You click. And drag. The zero decibels is where you start, and you can see like the little lines. They'll follow it. They'll go up, down, up, and down. I like to usually keep it at negative twelve decibels. Enemy UAV spotted. And that's if I'm doing a commentary. But if I'm doing something else, it'll change. Now, see how we're seeing this in increments of increments of something. I don't know why I can't see them all. Where are my increments? Hold on. Uh, hold on, maybe we gotta go to view. And then I want the. Uh, why is that not selected? Where is. The timeline. No, I want the timeline. Uh, oh my god. Nope, not that. Let's go. Let's hide you. Is it this? No, not that. Oh, usually, if. I don't know why mine's not showing up, but you have time. You have increments up here of what your thing is into and this could zoom the video in zoom it out i don't know why it's not there on mine but that's how you do it and now let's start learning these tools the select oh geez the select tool is the a a button so say I've, i'm on the different tool i just want to go back to the select button just press a and now with the select tool you could uh select the clip move a clip and it won't stay there you could uh uh, move the marker, do this, you can select different clips, but that's pretty much it for that. Now we're going to go to the trim tool, which is T, so same at this, just press T. And trim tool is, yeah, I'll show you. We got this, trim tool, go here. We made that, we made the left video longer and the right video shorter. Or you can go vice versa, you get the point. And see, you could select multiple clips, rearrange the order with the uh, select tool. You could do clipping clip one on top of the other. Alright, and now we have the position tool. This is actually a neat tool. You can actually take the clip and put it wherever you want. It'll create a black space. So, nothing is here. But when you get to here, your video starts. Like that, and I think it also can move effects or whatever. So, say we just had a say we just had that position tool could move that, so could the uh, select tool, and just like that. And next, we have the range selector, which is basically what you could do up top with selecting the range, but down here, you need an actual tool to do this. And this is good if you want to adjust the volume in a certain area. That's, so it climbs. Enemy UAV 
spotted. I like using it for that. The blade tool, pretty self-explanatory. Cuts, cuts. And then you can make, you can take those cuts. You can move it. Now you can put it back. And now, hold on. <coughs> oh my god. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm sick, but gotta make these videos. All right. Now another quick tip is if you do, if you're on a Mac, which is the only thing this works on, Command Z is undo. And if you want to go forward, it's Command Shift Z, and you go forward. All right. Next tool is the hand tool. Really don't even know what this does. To be honest, I never use this, so I assume it's really not that important. I guess this is for. I have honestly no idea what this does. Okay, well, not important. Uh, now, if we wanted to say, uh, let's talk about this. Say you wanted to fade into the video, like uh, hold on, let's just up the volume on this. Drag this in. Uh, come back up here. We have we, how we have my intro. If it'll play. Nice. The video sound starts right there. We can also have it like this. Let's actually start right here so you can really see the difference. Do the video sound is just like that by default, or oh, wait, is this it? There, there we go. I got that back. I think it was whatever this was. Oh, you can change your clip appearance, clip height. Don't really know why you'd want to do that. Actually, this is not terrible. I might actually keep it like that. Uh, that's if you want to take away audio. This is if you just want the names. This is the this is the one I keep it on. This is I don't know. I think it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. That's just audio. I like it on this one. Show connections. Yeah. yeah so I'm going to keep it like that. And let's actually decrease this a little bit. Alright. Now, see. Oh, hold on. Let's actually just get to this point. Blade. Now, see, the hotkey is really useful for doing quick editing like that. Now, watch. We start with me shooting, but if you see this little thing right here, this is what I call the fade in, fade out buttons. Take it, drag it, and it makes an arc, and the audio will slowly fade up until that point, and it'll become normal. Watch. I like to do that for the intros or the outros of my clips. You can really hear it. Lost shield. Alpha secure. And it gets really quiet. And what else can I teach you from this? Put that from there. And we could also. Oh, if you wanted to customize this a little more, you go to the little edges. Move that. Move that. You could do this to, like every box. And say you only want to look at projects from a certain thing, just whoop, bring that up, bring that down, and that's pretty much it, guys. Just for this, uh, just random tutorial on the basic functions of Final Cut, just to get you started. And we're going to do another one uh, also today, so stay tuned. Ooh.